Hi, this is Laura with Rethunk Junk by Laura, and today we are getting ready to start our Thursdays at 3-ish, which is our new name for it because we're always just a couple minutes late, so sorry. Um, today we are going to do a dresser. We're going to finish just a little bit of paint in the dresser because I have a couple tips, um, and mainly we're working on a finish on the top of the dresser. We're going to layer some stain top and glaze and come up with a, a really cool finish for the top of it. So supplies this week are a dresser or a project you want to work on. Then you need the Rethunk Junk Prep, which is our cleaning product. The Rethunk Junk Paint, Rethunk Junk Tinnable Glaze is one of the things we're going to be using today, and I'll explain how that works. And then the stain top. All of those are Rethunk Junk products, and let's do a dresser. First, let me show you what we started with before. Um, here is, oh, shoot. Here's our before. Can you get it without a glare? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tom's in the background telling me to talk slower and to smile more and to take a deep breath. He's got all these suggestions, <laughs> but is he ever on camera? I don't think so. Okay, so that was our before. So here's what we're gonna here's what we're gonna end up with. I've got half of it done, you know, like the cooking shows go. Ooh, you almost got on camera. I didn't get him. Okay. So here's what we started with. And we have painted this one linen and distressed it. We're going to do something cool with the top. But first, we're going to put a second coat on this drawer and a first coat on this drawer. So I have prepped everything else, but not this drawer right here. So remember the rules are I'm going to work on this. No butt shots. Okay. Keep the 12 chins out of the picture. Work with me. Okay. So we're going to prep. Ooh. Clean it really, really well. You just spray it on, no water, wipe it off. From who? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. What too bad, dirty. <laughs> good one, Tom. Good one. Okay, I've got spray on the top here. Look at the damage we've got on the top. If we do this right, then that will show up when we're done. If we don't do it right, it'll be embarrassing because it's a live video. So, all right. And clean the top. Ew, that was a girl spot right there. Okay, let's get the rest. See, you can see the shine kind of going away where we've cleaned it. How can you talk so much louder when you're talking to me? Because I'm bossing you around when I'm talking to you. Bossing around. I'm talking kindly to them. Okay, so. Oh, that's fun. Wouldn't that be fun to me? Okay, if you have a spot like this, <laughs> We're going to use the stain top products, not the paint. So, what she's saying is when she says something repeating because they can't hear her. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, this, most people would get a sander out and sand it. When you're using the stain top, you don't want to do that. You want to remove it with the prep. So, whatever that was, just came off with the prep. And, let's see what that does. That's something weird going on there. So, at least you know I don't pick fancy pieces to do that are out of the ordinary when we do these videos. We do the same junky stuff for the videos that we do in real life. Okay. All right, we'll get back to that in a minute. First, we're going to put a first coat on our drawer. And let me show you something about the drawers. I had somebody one time say, how come you didn't take the drawers out on that piece? They were stuck in. They weren't coming out. On this, they come out. But you got to be aggressive. So they get to here and they feel like they're stopping. There we go. Got it out. Just jerk a little bit. Here's first coat. Nothing fancy. And it looks dumb and that's normal. Second coat makes it fabulous. So we're going all the way around. And then in the middle. There we go. Okay. We're going to put our second coat on this one. And I could take it out, but why? Why? Because then I'll just kick it around while I'm doing other stuff. So... I'm just gonna paint it in here. And we've got a fan on, hopefully you can hear me, but we've got a fan on to dry it. In fact, why don't you sit that in front of the fan, please? Okay. And we are doing giveaways again this week. So let's do our first one. What was our first one? First question? 
your favorite color combo and you need to post the oh, combo okay. and then the color combo. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. This one, the first question is, what's your favorite color combo? We're doing a stain top paint combo. You can do two paint colors you like together. You can do whatever you want as far as a combination of the products that makes you happy. Post the word combo and then whatever your favorites are. That way we can find it when we look down the list um, and pick a winner really quick. So whoever posts first their favorite color combo, post combo and those colors. And go, where's it go? All right, we're gonna work on the top of this now. Um, first, what? let me tell you what we would normally do because <coughs> I'm gonna stain top this is. Normally I would stain top it and then paint this edge. I went ahead and painted the edge. It's gonna get all dirty and it's gonna get all nasty, but you can paint over the stain top. You cannot stain over the paint. Does that make that sense? Nobody's going to answer me because they're all somewhere else. So we're going to use the stain top now. This is the gray because we've had a lot of questions about what does the weathered gray do over wood. I'm putting a glove on. All the products are water-based, soap and water cleanup, but a glove keeps my hands clean because that's really important to me that my hands stay clean. So that was a dumb thing to do because now I'm going to put my knee on it. All right. Here we go. Pull it out. Has anybody? No, I can handle it. Has anybody posted a color combo? Um, they have, but I am having technical difficulties at the moment, so. Okay. Jill says she's having technical difficulties, um, which is not your fault, but thank you for posting the color combinations. Whoever did one first, just tell me and we'll announce the winner. Okay. So we're putting it on here. This is supposed to be see through. So it's going to be really light for our first coat. Tom, you're going to have to bring a fan over here probably. Ooh, that's a deep scratch. Okay. We'll work with it. Okay, the brush just gets it everywhere. Then we're going to smooth it out with the stain pad. So there we have the get it everywhere. Now, stain pad. We sell these. You can buy them online or at your retailer. Use the side that doesn't have the little sewn edge. That's my favorite side. And we're going to smooth it out, which looks like we're removing a bunch of it, but you do want it smooth. And you can see a little hint of gray back and forth. And we're not worried about the painted area because we can paint over the stain top. Okay. So now need to turn the fan up, Tom. Turn the fan up and point it at the dresser. Okay? This is not a finished project. Don't make a judgment yet. It's going to be fine before we go. Okay. Do you have the other drawer? Is it ready for a second coat? Okay. Let's do second coat on this. on this in case I didn't say it before. This is not dry, are you crazy? We're going to do it anyway because I'm a professional and I can, but that should have been a little bit drier before he handed it to me. I would fire him, but it's really uncomfortable at home. So do we have, do, are you still having technical difficulties? Okay, all right. We have a winner for the first question. Ooh, Timeless Teal is a good combo. Uh, that's a good one because that's one of our new colors. So, who's the name? Colleen Rendon. Colleen, what's the last name? R-E-N-D-A-N-T. R-E-N-D-A-N-T. -E Rendant. Right? Did I get it right? I don't know. Okay, I don't either. So, Colleen won the first question, and the prize for that was? Sample size of each of the four new colors. Oh, sample size of each of the four new colors. So, you'll get Timeless Teal. Woohoo! All right. Um, second question while we're working on this. Email Jill at Jill, Lara at Hotmail.com. If you are a winner, email her so that she can get an address and we can ship your prize. Okay? And second question is, why is the prep important? No. No? Well, we're rolling with that one anyway. What? We're going to go with that one anyway because I haven't started distressing. Yeah, that is it. Okay, that is it. She tried to correct me. Um, okay, second question is, tell us why the prep is important. First person to tell us why the prep is important, do prep, and then give your answer for why the prep is important. And that prize is? Oh. That is prep and a quart of Oh, prep and a quart of whatever paint you want. A quart of any color you choose. 
Okay, so tell us why the prep's important. Now, I'm putting this hardware back on here. I took it off. Because a lot of times, even if I'm painting it, I take it off because you get a smoother look on the front of the drawer. If the hardware's not there, I'll just drop the screw. Um, so, these are going back on, but I'm going to paint them. And, because see how much better they look painted? That just, whoa, right in your face there. So, actually before I paint them, I'm going to distress. So let me, is the sander, can you hand me the sander, Tom? Okay, just one second, I'm going to grab sandpaper. Do a dance, Katie. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> okay, we're going to roll with old sandpaper. All right, here we go. Going to distress. I'm going around the edges. There are actually two ridges. You see both of them once you distress. And then I'm going to hit this puppy, which I'm so excited to do. I could hardly wait for the video. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right here, this is supposed to look like three little drawers. We're going to go in the middle. Okay, now the fun part. Woohoo! That looks so good. Okay, now we want to get rid of the hardware so that this is the focal point. So we're going to paint. The cool thing about this is it shows you that I'm dripping, but it also shows you that the paint really does do a great job self-leveling. I'm just smoothing out what I did on the drawer there, and it's going to totally go away. Oh, we have a winner on the um, prep question. What was the answer? It is her. The winner is Becky Wilkes. Mm -hmm. Becky, what was the last name? White. Becky White, okay. And it is to clean and decrease, decrease your paint, your, ah, clean and decrease your paint so paint sticks. Woohoo! She got it right. That's exactly right. And okay. can you say my email again? And Jill, email Jill at Jill, Lara at hotmail.com. Jill, Lara at hotmail.com. So email her if you're one of the two winners so far. And our third question is... Appropriate now because the third question is Where's my sander? Oh, what grit sandpaper do we use? So, first person to say grit and give us the answer wins a Ryobi sander. Not cordless, but you do get a sander. Okay, so I'm gonna distress the drawer. <laughs> and just let me say that prize was worth doing because Tom just looked at me like I have. They, the company, go broke by giving away a sander. Because we all know how frugal Tom is. So, okay, we're putting a second coat of weathered gray on the top. See, he's back there mumbling about it. Can you hear? Can you hear? All right. Second coat of the weathered gray going on top. All right. Remember the brushes just to get it on there, and then you use the same pad to smooth it out. So we got second coat on. That tells you how fast the stain top dries because we already did our first coat, and I don't think anybody ever turned up the fan, did they? Nope. Okay. Okay. What are you asking me? Did you just say I'm an idiot? Nope. It's great working with your spouse. Just great. Okay, now we've got two coats of gray on here now. So while that dries, turn the fan up seriously so that dries a little faster. Yeah. Okay, so while that dries, I'm going to put that a second up. coat right here. Now it's up. Now we can hear it, and I can talk loud. 
Navdra. Okay. Second coat on that guy. Okay. Then on this hardware over here, when it's dry, I'm going to put a second coat on it. You can tell the one has one coat and that one has two. So let me attach this one. And then I did something else on the hardware I'm going to show you. Can you hear you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can hear me. They can hear me. Can, can you hear me? Tom says nobody can hear me. Okay. This is really hard to do with the glove on. Much better. Okay. And now we're ready to paint that one. See on the ones we already painted how, well, you don't have to do that yet. You can look at this one still. Um, but on the ones we already painted, see how I do it so artfully, I don't even have to touch it. I'm so crafty. Okay, there we go. See on these that we just, these we just painted, you don't even see, oops, I'm going to touch top. You don't even see where the paint is on the, you know, like I'm putting it on the side right now. That just totally blends in. You don't see that anymore. Two coats, covers them real good. This is almost dry, so we're going to put another product on. I'm going to mix it while we're talking. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our tenable glaze. Wait, I should do it like this so you don't have to see my face. There, we're going to do the tenable glaze. This is a glaze that allows you to put any color of our paint in it. The color combinations are endless for layering. What we're going to do today is tint this linen, since that's the color we're using on the dresser, because I'm going to layer it with the stain top. So, you put, the label says two tablespoons. So let's go like that and pretend that's about two tablespoons. The glaze goes really far. So my suggestion is if you get the glaze, pour half of it into uh, some other container, a Tupperware container or something, tint half of it one color, and then you've got the other left to tint another color. So you don't, you know, you don't have a whole thing of linen if you've been, you know, you can do linen and slate or linen and sandstone is a beautiful color to tint it. It's a really pretty um, French country look. It's a really pretty glaze. So we've got our tintable glaze now. As soon as, wow, we're almost ready. Okay, gonna give it a couple more seconds. As soon as that dries, we will do that. On the hardware here, what I did, you can see it on some of them. Let me see which one's dry. I'm gonna do it on the bottoms. All right, these are dry down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's very subtle and classy. But I took our metallic pearl, poured it in a container, and added some glitter because my philosophy is if it can sparkle, it should. So I added some glitter, and I'm just gonna paint these. I don't want it on the dresser, I just want it on the hardware. So I'm just gonna kinda add some of the metallic pearl with the glitter in it. And when I'm done here, we'll find one that I've done where you can kinda see the glitter. So you're gonna have to get the camera just right, Katie, for them to actually see sparkle. Um, and Oh, we have our third winner, which is, who is? Melanie, how do you spell the last name? G-O-R-B-Y. Melanie Gorby, G-O-R-B-Y. And before we get a lot of hate now, uh -huh. the reason some people might have thought they got him first, but uh -huh. she said Brent and he. Oh, okay. So before, Jill said, before we get any hate mail, some people might have thought they answered first, but she followed the rules as far as saying grit and then 80, because that does make it easier to find. So, all right. So we're, 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 we have rules. We have standards. Okay. Doing it on this one, too. Because I already have two coats on here, and then we'll find the sparkly one, and by then the top will be ready for us to put another coat of fabulousness on the top. So, does the paint stay on the hardware pretty good? Oh yeah, it stays on the hardware great. Um, if you don't want to paint the hardware, don't just test it out because it's gonna stay on there. So yeah, it does. Um, and it's really cool. Um, in fact, I'll show you another. I'll show you another trick too while we're talking hardware. So find one of these and do a shot where you can see just a tiny bit of sparkle. Can you see just a tiny bit of sparkle, or is that not gonna show up on the camera? I don't know. It looks. I can see it, and it looks fabulous. No, standing up makes it worse. So, you'll just have to trust me. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me show you, as far as hardware, another cool thing. We painted this solid, but you can... What am I supposed to be... No, you're supposed to be not getting my rear end. I remember? was not. Okay. The other thing you can do... Okay, I put some on my thumb, 
is just dry brush. I like to dry brush hardware with my thumb. Oh, look how pretty that is. It just highlights the architecture and architecture. The architecture, you see how quick and easy that is? It'll stick to that. And now that's not going to be such a harsh contrast on a piece that's a lighter color. And you see all that engraving that you didn't before. I should have kind of showed you before, huh? It, it's fabulous. It's really fabulous. So, okay. Next thing we're going to do on top of the dresser is. Will you wet that? Thank you. We're going to do our tenable glaze. Where to sit it? It's right there on the. Oh, there it is. Okay. New tenable glaze. Let me get a brush. Let me get a brush. Okay. We're going to ask our last question now. Last question is. Oh, yeah. Tell me questions. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Questions are? Um, Michelle Hilton would like to know if the paint stays on the hardware pretty good. Michelle asked if the paint stays on the hardware. Yes, it stays on the hardware. If you don't want to paint the hardware, don't try it out because it's going to be on there. It sticks really, really good. Chris Steven Johnson would like to know if there's anywhere in Hawaii to purchase her products. Oh, my stars. Christina would like to know if there's any place in Hawaii to purchase the products. There's not yet. We would love to be in Hawaii, and we will assume that whoever opens the store in Hawaii will need a lot of hands-on help. And being the givers that we are, we will go to Hawaii and help. So, find us a spot in Hawaii. We're there. And we have to give a shout-out to Noah because he said anything you paint looks Oh, Noah's fabulous. We like we like people like Noah. Noah says anything we paint is fabulous, which makes Noah pretty fabulous. All right. <laughs> this is the tintable glaze, tinted linen, and I'm going over the Tom. Don't um, fan me right now. Oh, and I Uh oh, what's the other question? Yes. Take the rag and wrap it. Once the rag is kind of saturated, leave the legs for last. Wrap the rag around the leg and twist. So now you have to repeat what you're telling her how to do. Oh, okay, I will. All right, but, but I'm working on time frame with the leg. I know. Yes, I'll do, uh, let me say, I'll tell you one more time. Just one sec. Okay. And Shelly would like to know how many coats of the gray you will be doing. I did two of the gray. I'm doing this now. This is the tentable in linen. And sorry, I can't talk and think on glaze. So we're just adding the glaze, blending it in. Man, it dries fast. Is your rag wet enough? Yeah, it is. Lynn's wet it for me. She knows what she's doing. Okay. Plus, we got we got a couple more layers we're putting on this, so this is all good. And I'm going for a rustic weathered kind of thing on top here, so. All right, we don't have quite enough right here, so I'm gonna do a little more right here. Okay, and the question we had was, how do you get the glaze on chair legs? And the answer to that would be, when your rag's all covered with glaze, because eventually it will be, um, whatever color you're using, then take it and, like let's say here's a chair leg, wrap it around the leg, and twist like that. Now you can't see it very well because we're using linen, but if that was dark glaze, it would work perfectly. So, and Kimberly would like to know how long the paint glaze lasts. If there's an expiration date, she used some last fall and wondering if she can reuse it now. Well, who's this wanting to know this? Kimberly. Well, we'd like to know what's wrong with Kimberly that she hasn't used it since then because how can you stop painting once you start? It's so much I fun. But um, it'll last. How, give us a time frame on that, Tom. If you put the container lid on tight, there's no reason it should ever go bad. I mean, you know, within a year or two. Okay, fan back on on this so it dries, please. Okay. And any more questions? We're going to ask our last question now. Um, well, Leslie and Taylor would like to know if we're having trouble getting steam pads at Harbor Freight. Who she is. Well, so we have, we wholesale, we have no, we wholesale the, we wholesale them, so we, 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 we purchase in bulk where we purchase, so we're, um, she can buy them from us if she's having trouble finding them. Okay, well, we're going to have to call Leslie and Taylor to get her steam pads because she can't find them from us. Okay, so we're going to have to call Leslie and Taylor to get her
that darn on top, right? Okay. Now I'm going to put a dark walnut. This is a matter of just playing until you're happy with the look. So I've got two coats of weathered gray, one coat of the tintable glaze with linen, and now I'm putting dark walnut on. So it really is just a matter of layer and play till you get the look you want. You know, it's, it's just, it's fun. There's not a right or wrong. Worst case scenario, you don't like it, and you can either use the prep and remove what you've done, or you can just pick a paint color and paint the top. So pick a piece and play so you get used to the feel of it and so that you have some fun with it. And realize you really can't mess up. Okay. Ooh, see that's looking pretty. See how pretty now? There's a lot of glare on it, so. So they're gonna have to trust us that it's pretty? Well it is really pretty. It is, isn't it? Okay. And I'll pull it out in a minute. What'd you do? Yeah, the window's just making it hard. Oh, there's a hair. Okay, see, this is how forgiving this stuff is. There was a hair there, which I got off. No, I didn't get off. Now I got it off. Okay. I'm just going to feather it in with a brush. There we go. Okay. And I'll probably put just a little bit more gray on it when we're done. But it's looking way pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna ask you the last question. Last question is we've had it has cracked me up. We've had him compared to um Mr. Wilson on home improvement, and we've also had him compared to Howard's mom on Big Bang Theory. The first person to tell me what my husband's name is, because he's never in the videos, he never has a clean shirt on, give me his name, and instead of just give me his name, here's the rules, you have to put Rethunk Hunk, and then his name. So, the first person to put Rethunk Hunk, because that's what he is, and then his name, if anybody knows his name, that's the last prize, and that is a $35 gift certificate. So, ready, set, go. Trimming where we got the product on the paint, because you can... The rules are Rethunk Hunk and then the name of my husband. Okay, and the winner is Kimberly Erber. Well, that was fast. Well, other people didn't follow the rules. Oh, they didn't put Rethunk Hunk. <laughs> That's the whole fun of it. Okay. She got it. What did she get for a name? Her name. The name? Yeah. She said Rethunk Hunk and and the prize is the $35 gift certificate. Woohoo, she's right. Got it. Okay, so I got a hair here again. Are these dropping out of me? He's dropping out of me. Okay. We got this covered up now. And make sure if you're one of the winners, email Jill at Jill, RethunkJunkBrylara at Hotmail.com. Okay. Turn the fan up because I'm going to put one more thing on top of it and we're going to stress it and be done. Are there any other questions while we're doing, while we're working on this project? Any other questions? Uh-huh. Okay, Allison had a question about what kind of paint it is. It is not acrylic and it is not chalk. It has a latex base. Everything's water-based as far as soap and water cleanup goes. It's a latex base. It's not a chalk paint because there's no powder in it. It's really kind of its own thing because the rethunk, rethunk Hunk Tom came up with a formula that's different from anything out there. There's no powder in it. We don't wax. It's a little bit different from anything else out there, um, but it's fantastic. And is it similar to... It's no, no paint. It's, not a it's it's not a mineral paint either. It's, it really is. I know that sounds like a cop out. It really is just its own fabulous thing. So it's its own its own little family here. Um, is that on as high as it'll go? I was too loud. Do high just for a couple more minutes because I'm close to the microphone. So we get, there we go. We're gonna do high for a couple minutes just to get the edges clear, and then we'll uh, then we'll distress the top edges. So let me put this back on and. Sandpaper answer is the grit sandpaper we use is 80 grit. Now, if you are working on a project where you want to bring two colors through, I mean, bring a color through, you know, have a base color, like if I was going to paint this blue and then distress it and have the linen come through, what you want to do is um, put your first coat on, leave that overnight so it really gives a time to grab on there, and then the next day paint your second coat, but then back off to like 
220 grit so that you don't go all the way down to the bottom so that you do pull through that second color. Okay, and Donna has only used dark wax, but she wants to know if the glaze is tensible. We have a tensible glaze. Donna has only used dark wax. The question is about our tensible, black, um, tensible glaze, and we have another glaze too. We have a dark glaze that mimics the look of the wax, only a whole lot easier for me to use, and then we have a tintable glaze so you can make it any color. Like there's a white wax out there, if I was using this on a dark color paint, what we just tinted our linen and the tintable glaze would look like the white wax. There are lots of, um, lots of cool options you can do, and the dark glaze does look like dark wax. And Diana would like to know what the four new colors are. Diana would like to know what the four new colors are. The four new colors, Diana, are Timeless Teal, um, Lince, can you get those sample boards around the corner? Timeless Teal, Tea Rose, Vintage Coral, and Blue Lace. And we'll show you samples of those in just one second. We've got sample boards right around the corner. I'm just adding the pearl glitter on this middle thing because I think it's fabulous. And anytime you can add sparkle, you should. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, surely you can see some glitter on that. Do you see how fabulous? Yes. Yeah, you can yeah, see it. Yeah, now you can see it. Okay, we're going to distress the top here real quick and be done. Lindsay's pulling out the samples of the new colors so we can show you those real quick. Um, I shouldn't... Go ahead. Two, two more questions, okay? Um, Doug has a kitchen table with a gated veneer pattern on top. Would the stain top take that look out? And if like it has a veneer have, pattern on top... Oh, sorry, and? No, they would like to have a linen bottom and a stain Linen based stain top tabletop is a beautiful combination that's absolutely fabulous. If there is a pattern on the tabletop, it will show through because the whole purpose of the stain top is to be able to stain something and have the wood grain show through. Either real wood or fake wood, having the wood grain show through. If you can see Katie right now, she's yawning. I'm Her sorry. Little, that's okay. Wake up, Katie. So, um, <laughs> you cannot cover that unless you go so dark with the stain top that it probably looks like you've painted it anyway. So, um, but it's give it a shot because sometimes it looks really cool so all right let me see the new colors here real quick and go ahead two more questions warm water is the best plan we have said if we were ever going to build a bomb shelter or something that was going to last forever for us to move into a retirement home we would build it out of cocoa pebbles and oatmeal because you cannot remove those from a tabletop the next day um, it takes like a chisel or a jackhammer so we recommend cleaning right after you get something on it. That's always best case scenario, no matter what your furniture piece is. But just use a mild cleaner. Don't use something with a huge, horrible scrubbiness to it. And don't use something with a ton of bleach. But warm, soapy water, Windex. You got any other suggestions? That should work. Cold water. Yeah. It yeah. Oh, it's totally durable. We have five children, and we've done our cabinets in several homes, our dining room tables. It's very durable. If you seal it the way you're supposed to with the Tough Top product, way durable. This is Timeless Teal. Okay, this is Blue Lace, fabulous. This one is Tea Rose, and this one is Vintage Coral. Those are the new colors. And before you do that, can you get a close-up of the middle piece where you did the pearl metallic? Oh, the pearl metallic on the little middle thing sparkly. Isn't that pretty? Okay, here we go. We're going to distress the top. Tom's yelling at me that I'm losing people because they're going too long. So we're going to distress and be done. We will post a picture of the finished thing. I'll dust it off and everything, but for now, stand back here and let me show you the before and then our top. Okay, so ignore the crumblies on top. I'll get those dusted off. Here is what we started with. Okay, can you see without glare? Yeah. Okay, there's what we started with. And here is <laughs> here's our finished project. Ta da! So, we used the paint, we layered two of the stain top colors, we used tintable glaze for the top, 
did it way quickly, way easily. Find a retailer near you. If there's not a retailer near you, like in Hawaii, let us know. We'll come set someone up. Thanks so much for watching and happy rethunking.